also go around a subway operator on one track, one tunnel, and zero signaling costs. And the interesting part, it can be safer than traditional subways. How it works is a subway goes from one station between three stations back and forth, or between two stations, and you can never hit each other. There's only one subway in the track, in the tunnel. With a simple 20 second crossover, this will work. Oh, and yes, by the way, you get to save a half a billion dollars on this for nine line. And yes, I do believe in safer subways. That's what I'm known for. You see, this is an itemized list of the different savings that is possible that I've used with recent uh, projects that have been awarded to come up with the $550 million in savings. And yes, two subways can offer one you. Uh, two subways cannot collide. How about on Edmonton Cross Town? It's technically possible to save $800 million and the customer would only have one single 20 second crossover before they hit the any north south subway. That's not a big inconvenience considering we save $800 million and two subways can't collide. Oh yes, here's the free subway. In Scarborough, you can stand to save half a billion dollars and have your subway and eat it too. Anyway, so simply put, you can save a lot of money and make subways safer. Is this not worthy of an investigative report back to your commission? You see, over these three projects, I've walked you through how to save $1.8 billion while making more subways safer. Safer for your passengers and your drivers. It's worthy of a collaborative, innovative department discussion, connecting innovation with the experts within. So yes, I think it's possible that your subway on Spadina could be ready by the time the pandemic are operating. Because it's not complicated. You only have two tunnels to build, the red line and the yellow line. There are no signaling costs, because all you're doing is going back and forth, one train in each section. And then you can finish the rest later, time and money permits. Oh yes, here we go, we're back to safety again. Yes, with new subway stations, all you need is two doors. There is a way to do it. Or a simple layout platform, a flow safety plan protecting your people and your drivers. Yes, for these six stations, all you need is about 12 automated doors. It's a flow safety plan that makes it safe and workable for all. That's another $89 million in savings. At City Council, you fought so hard, so often, over just a mere five million. But we need a report back to this, this council, this commission, to understand, am I in or am I missing something here? Because I am confident this smart subway's flow technology will save you $1.8 billion. Yes, and the subway will be open for the Pan Am Games, but it's a strategic strategy of thinking outside the box, doing things a little differently than what you do from every day for the TTC management. Is this worthy of a discussion for the TTC management to ask, hmm, is this possible? Could we be operating by the time the Pan Am Games are open? Could we maybe think that all we need is a red line and a yellow line? and we can be operating more quickly in the survey of our people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Other questions? Okay. So, we'll, um, so we'll refer this to staff. And um, thank you very much, Sean. And uh, I understand that you've um, come quite a way to make a presentation to this Well, session. I come seven hours every time, and I'd love to meet you. Share more with you. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution, anyway.